Hey there. One of my favorite dishes is a mixed vegetable rice bowl with a spicy sauce. Now I'm going to show you how you can use five basic ingredients or components to make this dish. The first component is your grain, which is going to be a mixed rice for this case. I'm going to use for my protein will be some tofu. Third is a steamed vegetable or two. And then the fourth is some raw vegetables. And then the fifth component is the spicy sauce. All right, here's the key ingredients to the sriracha ginger sauce. I have my sriracha, maple syrup, fresh lemon juice, some finely chopped walnuts, and then of course ginger. Take about a three inch piece of ginger, peel it, and then let's grate it till you get about a teaspoon or so, and that's basically what you need. Then we combine to make the sauce. I have 100% pure maple syrup, fresh lemon juice, forms the acid. The uh, chopped up walnut is my fat. I'm not using any added oils. The sriracha is my heat. The ginger just gives some extra flavor. And then we just stir till it's thoroughly combined. And if you want it to be a little hotter, just add a little more sriracha. And uh, if you find it's a little too hot, use a little more maple syrup. Here we have the perfect combination of an acid, fat, salt, and heat. This makes a great, great dressing. Then we just combine. I have some steamed wild rice, some chopped up peppers, some roasted chickpeas, steamed broccoli, some raw kale leaves, some marinated tofu, and then some spicy pumpkin seeds. Then we just add the sriracha sauce, basically enough to give you the flavor that you want. And then give it a nice stir till everything is thoroughly combined. You'll know you've reached the uh, ideal um, combining when the leaves are shiny from the dressing. And if it's not, if the leaves aren't shiny enough, um, just add a little more dressing, which I'm going to do here. I'm going to give a little more liquid too. And just stir it, it's, it's done. Now, we feast first with our eyes and then the rest of our senses. So this just looks colorful, it uh, smells great, and it will taste amazing. I'm just pouring it from the mixing bowl to a serving bowl. I'm grabbing a fork. This is ready to enjoy. Hey, thanks for watching. Share and subscribe to the Plant-Based Scratch Kitchen. You can get the full recipe at speakingwellness.com.